Alright everybody, welcome back to another video. This is my hybrid creator build for the global server. Alright, let's get started. First, let's check the recommended equipment for this build. For the weapon, we will be using Erd, which increases the acid bomb damage, our ranged physical damage, our base attack, and magic attack. Our goal is to have a plus 15 weapon to unlock all the bonus stats. We also need the plus 15 refinement for the Dawn Hammer Erd once we reach base level 90. For the armor, we will be using Tear Blessing set. My current set is a Sprint set since I'm from the High Wizard class. And I'm unable to craft Tear Blessing set due to lack of materials in the market. However, it is recommended to use Tear Blessing set since it gives SDR and physical attack increase. For the accessories, we can use Nile Rose and Dark Knight Gloves with Dark Knight Emblem as soon as we reach base level 95. For the shield, we can use Crack Buckler or Valkyrie Shield. For the cards, we can go for Damage Increase cards for the weapon, Baby Desert Wolf or Piggy card for the armor, Frildora card or Vagabond Wolf card for the garment, Sohi card or Virit card for the shoes, Greatest General cards for the accessories, and Karat card or Devirochi card for the headgear. For the cards, we can go for the status effect cards for the weapon, Dark Frame or cards that increases our max HP for the armor, Frildora card, Choco, Orc Baby, or Mist card for the garment, Marduk card, or Guy Earth card for the headgear, and Tara Frog card for the shield. For the cores, we need to have Chemistry Fury Core, Fury of Banal Mirth Core, Ocean Fusion Core, and Mana Length Boost Core. For the cores, we need Chemistry Fury Core, Plant Protection Core, and Chemistry Protection Core. For the stats, we need to max out both STR and IN. Then we can allocate the rest of the points to Vitality and Dexterity. Up next, let's check the recommended skills for this build. For the Merchant class, we can max out any skill that we need like Discount and Overcharge. For the Alchemist class, we need to max out Demonstration, Learning Potion, and Bioethics. Then you can allocate the rest of the points to Humunculus Resurrection and Axe in Maze Mastery. For the Alchemist class, we need Armor and Weapon Protection, Demonstration, Battle Grenade, and Learning Potion. For the Creator class, we need to max out Acid Bomb, Unstable Research, Advanced Axe and Maze Mastery, and Life Fusion. Then you can allocate the rest of the points to any skill that you need. For the Creator class, max out Acid Bomb, Unstable Research, Corrosion Research, Creature Dispatch, and Full Chemical Protection. Then allocate the rest of the points to Advanced Axe and Maze Mastery. For the Homunculus, we will be using Vanal Mirth for PvE 
and Amistir for PBP. For the sigil, we need to upgrade our class exclusive sigil wildfire to at least level 3. This sigil adds AoE skill after we cast Acid Bomb that reduces target move speed and chance to immobilize the targets. For the active imprint, we can use Radiant Guardian or Frozen World. For the passive imprints, we can use Endless Nightmare, Floating Protection, Courage Blessing, and Surging Protection. For the feathers and statues, you may want to add parts that add Ignore Defense, STR, Int, and Dex Attribute. For the pets, we can go for Tunnel, Earth Lord, Son of Earth, Sohi, and Squidget. We also need to deposit cards that increases our base attack and magic attack. For the consumables, we need STR Potion and Basilac Clam. We can also use Maze Weapon Converter to change our weapon attribute. Up next, let's check the damage of this build to other players. Alright, that's it for the video. Before you leave, please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel if you haven't yet. Also, let me know what you think about this build or what would you like to see next by leaving a comment down below. I'll see you guys on our next video. Thank you for watching.